All right, let's hop right into it. So my hair is in a braid out, stretched out a little bit. So I'm going to go on with the color Oops. Um, got it from Walmart, $14, um, whatever. So, you know, read instructions, step one, step two, type of gig type shit. Um, yeah, so mixing it up. So I wanted to remove this color I had. It was brighter before when I first bleached it. But then it got into this dark brownish type of... I mean, it's not bad. It's like a nice chestnut brown, but I wanted it to be lighter. Like, I didn't bleach my hair for no reason. So, you know, watch me carefully pour this in because, you know, I decided to not cut this clip. Wh whatever. We here. And, you know, you know what you want to do after that? Let's shake it up Chicago. And I didn't really feel like adding music, copyright shit. It was too much. So I decided... Let me just talk to y'all. Like, what's up? What's up? Like, I know it's been a while. It's been a hot minute. I had this footage in my computer for a long, pure lolicky, lolicky, lolicky time. But nonetheless, this is back when I my hair was natural. I'll get into that. Anyways, so we just doing all that. We combing it through. We making sure everything is saturated. Um, I low-key needed another bottle, but we're going to make this work. We always tend to make it work. So this is me with it out. I would say I kept it in my head for about three minutes. And you can tell like my hair didn't feel dry or anything like that. It was just more the smell. Like I low-key still smell it to this day, but besides the fact. But yeah, so I removed that color and left me with this. Which is okay because I'm about to go in and dye it again. Alright, let me show you in the light. So we're back to this base color. Um, not completely back to the base color, it's still a little bit brown from the dye process, but that's cool. So let me show you the hair dye I bought and the color I'm trying to achieve. So I bought me a couple of Adore hair dyes. I have me Sunrise Orange, um, never used it before. I have the Honey Brown and I have Cajun Spice. So I use the Honey Brown and Cajun Spice on my beard and it gave me a burgundy vibe when it was first applied. As it started washing off, it kind of went down to a, I don't know, what is this? Like a mahogany. So it does have some deep red purple undertones in there. So I'm gonna see if I can mix these. I might just chill on her, mix the Cajun Spice and these together to, on my natural hair to see, you know, what kind of vibe would it give me? It's temporary dye, they're vegan, 100% animal cruelty free um they're semi-permanent so this has no commitment it'll wash off gradually as the time goes so i'm gonna see how that goes and start applying all right so we are back over to the voiceover um so you know wear gloves definitely wear gloves you know this will stain this will stain everywhere so what i did i don't know if i showed it i didn't show it but i mixed all those dyes together um mostly the cajun not yeah the cajun and the sunset orange and a drop of the honey brown um just to give that just to give, you know a little give it a little sign so yeah that's what i was doing and i'm just taking my time and going section per section per section um i would say i used about you know the bottle half a bottle of each so yeah and as you can see i look like be a be a <laughs> I ain't fucking no nigga if he don't deserve it nah some fifth element type shit but if it stayed like this to top 10 dead or alive like come on out but yeah look <laughs> I thought I was I thought he, I am he's a biracial girl you know <laughs> yo okay, okay I'm gonna rinse this rinse this shit out it been I had it in my hair for two hours would you <gasps> ooh Yep, I had it from my hair and for two hours, so time to let it go. My hypotenuse, my hypotenuse. It looks good on camera, but let's see. Actually, let's just rinse one side at a time, right? Mind you, my hair still smells like color hoops. Whatever. So 
so this is what we're dealing with like i rock with it it's fire so i'm just gonna do a little wash and go so i kind of didn't do a wash and go i decided to blow up my hair anyways um to see how it looks and i love the color i think it's fire i think it is you know it's getting very biracial <laughs> i'm just joking thanks for watching guys bye